In this video, I'm going to explain why it is in fact true that obesity can be inherited. All right, I'm not a person who makes a lot of excuses, so don't think this is me saying uh, you know, that it's okay to be overweight, it's okay to be unhealthy, and that it's okay to um, you know, just not take care of yourself. Just be like, hey, it's in my genes, that's the way it is, and you know, pass the pizza. So, but I, there is something that I want to make clear so that people who think they are genetically or uh, you know, they're hereditarily overweight or obese, that they understand what's really going on and that they could change it, okay, and improve their lives. And I got the idea for this video because I was driving the car the other day and I heard on the radio that a woman wrote a book explaining, you know, why childhood obesity is so rampant. And apparently her basic premise was, um, you know, parents use uh, food as a reward for their children. You know, it's like, hey, take out the garbage. No. Uh, take out the garbage and I'll give you a candy bar or whatever, a piece of pizza. It's like, okay, fine. You know, so basically the kids from like, you know, as soon as early as they can remember are being taught, you know, if I do a good job, I get some, some food as a reward. Now, not only is food, you know, calories in general, so it's bad to, you know, think of rewarding yourself with food, but it's always crappy food too, okay? So, um, you know, and uh, they didn't say this on the radio. They basically just, you know, paraphrased it. But the idea I'm thinking is, okay, so basically what happens is after a while, you know, hey, I got a promotion. Let's go and, you know, get drunk. Let's go and eat 10 pizzas. You know, hey, I had a really bad day at work. Let's go and eat 10 pizzas. Hey, I had a good day at work. Let's celebrate by going and eating 10 pizzas. You know, so basically, like I said, you learn from your youth that, you know, you get rewarded with uh, food, usually bad food, and that you go ahead and you get a, um, you know, and if, and if something bad happens, well, let me make you feel better by giving you bad food, okay? And uh, this has actually been around for a long time. This is nothing new. I mean, um, you know, when I was a kid studying martial arts, there was a kid, uh, there was a guy, he was in his uh, 30s. I'm in my 40s now, so he was 10 years younger than me, but he acted like an old man. You know, and um, I was talking to him once, and he's like, you don't understand. You know, when I was a kid, Sunday morning, my dad would, uh, you know, wake me up early, and just him and me, it was just the guys. We'd be in the kitchen, and we'd make bacon and eggs and pancakes and da-da-da-da-da, and eat all of this, and that was it. So, you know, that was like the highlight of my week was to hang out with dad and have, you know, a big breakfast. You know, now, funny thing is, okay, um, there's a book that I read by uh, Steve Reeves, okay, the original Hercules, the original movie Muscle Man, the original uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you might say, he was because he was a champion uh, bodybuilder, then he became a, you know, a, the highest paid actor of his time. And um, he said the same thing when he wrote a book, like, uh, you know, before he died about fitness and he says you know it has a lot to do with your habits if you're the kind of person when you know company comes by oh sit down and you make some cake and coffee you know and that's like every time that somebody comes by to visit you you bring out the cake and everybody eats a couple of pieces of cake or you know pie or whatever you're giving yourself a bad habit you know and that's uh like i said that's learned now who do you learn it from your parents so because my parents were obese and i'm obese now it looks like it's a genetic thing. Like, I can't do anything about it. It's just in my genes, you know? That's just the way it is. But if you're aware of the habits that you have, okay? It's not the genes. It's not that I cannot burn fat. I cannot build muscle. I cannot run. I cannot lift weights. You know, it's basically just you've inherited, you've learned, okay? Not genetically, but by learning, you've inherited bad habits from your parents, okay? Because of that, you practice the same bad habits all your life. Because you practice the same bad habits all your life, you have, you know, the same, um, you know, you have the same effects, the same results, which means you're out of shape, okay? So, just kind of think to yourself about what habits you have and think about to yourself about how you can make them better. I mean, with me, for instance, I don't have any kids, okay? But, um, you know, let's say I had a kid, okay? Let's say I had a kid and, um, you know, it was like, hey, I really loved it when I was a kid. You know, Sundays with dad, we'd go and we'd make, you know, bacon and eggs and, you know, steak or whatever for breakfast. And we'd sit there and we'd talk about the week. 
no donuts, no uh, pancakes, you know, with uh, with syrup on it, you know, just so you know, high fat, low carb, or, or whatever diet. You know, the important thing is, you know, imagine if the highlight of your week was hanging out with dad. And instead of eating, you know, just lots of huge fat and, 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 you know, fattening foods, you know, like sugar and carbohydrates and stuff, you basically ate something healthy, whatever kind of a diet it is. Okay. And you enjoyed it. You learned to enjoy eating good food. Okay. Let's say instead of like, yeah, you know, I'd go out with mom and dad or whatever, you know, and uh, we'd go to Baskin Robbins and eat 10 pounds, you know, 10 pounds of, uh, of ice cream. Imagine if it was like, yeah, you know, uh, you know, Dad and I would go running in the summer and, you know, he'd take his shirt off and he's, you know, and he was old, but he still was all ripped, had a six pack and we'd, you know, and I'd be so proud running next to him. He'd be like, when I grow up, I want to be like dad and still, even when I get older, be able to run and still be in awesome shape. You know, I mean, imagine if it was like, yeah, you know, when I was a kid, uh, dad brought me to the gym and taught me how to lift weights or do calisthenics or brought me down to the playground, to the park and showed me how to do pull-ups or something. Okay. So that could be inherited just as well, all right? And like I said, just think to yourself basically what you consider to be a good time. What did you learn from your parents, you know, to be a good time? Is it like, for me, you know, dieting sucks and everything about dieting sucks and exercise sucks and everything about exercise sucks and the only thing that I, you know, enjoy about life is my cheat day and overeating and laying on my ass and not going to the gym and not moving myself physically. If that's like what you've learned from your parents, that's the obesity that you've inherited genetically, okay? It has nothing to do with, uh, you know, your DNA or your physical makeup. All it has to do with is what you learned to value as being a good experience, what you learned to fear as being a bad experience, and the habits that you learned that you build into your current lifestyle. And because they very well may be unhealthy, the effect is that you become unhealthy.